Hey, welcome back to the new video. In this video, we are going to see how we can work simultaneously on MySQL and Python. So we are going to see how we can create our data frame in Python and how we can load that data frame to the SQL databases. So by this way, we are simultaneously working on Python as well as MySQL. So the topic we are going to cover in this video is how we can load the data to our data frame in Python and how we can create an engine to connect MySQL and how to export the database to MySQL database as a table. So let's see one by one the process. First, we need to open our MySQL. So this is my MySQL workbench. So I'll first open that. Then I will open this. And first I need to select a database. So first I need to select the database. Then only I can push the data from the my, my Python to this database. So first I will select one database. So I will select that practice database I have. So I will use this practice database. So this is highlighted now. The practice database is highlighted. So from now I can push the data from my Python notebook to this practice database. So if I now see my practice database, I have nearly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight table now. If I want to push another table to this data base from Python, how I can do that? So let's go to the Python notebook. So I have opened Python notebook. So let's see one by one. First, I need to import the necessary libraries. So the libraries I need is SQL Alchemy. If you are not installed SQL Alchemy, you can install by using pip method. So the pip install, the pip install SQL Alchemy. So if I run this, Let's see, let's wait. It's giving the message that the requirement already satisfied means I already installed these libraries in my system. So if you're not installed it, you can install by this way. After that, let's import necessary libraries. So to deal with data frame, I need pandas. So I will import pandas as pd. So to create a connection, we need to create an engine. In order to create engine, we need one toolkit that is SQL Alchemy. From SQL Alchemy, I will import create engine. So from SQL Alchemy that we have just installed from SQL Alchemy import create engine. So I imported create engine. Then to working with SQL, I need from pandas pandas.io import SQL. So these are the three libraries I need. So I will run this. Yeah, these three libraries are imported or uh, and the second step is to load the data to my data frame. So I can select any data set from my system. So I will search for the YouTube data set. So let's see where is that YouTube data set. Mm. Let's check for yeah. Here I have the YouTube data set. So I will select the name of the YouTube dislike data set. So I selected that name. So I will df.pd. Read CSV because the file is in CSV. And enter the name of that file. So by this way, I can load the data to my data frame. If I check for my data frame, it's looked like this. It has the video ID title and all these things. So now I have the data frame. 
now i need to create one engine to connect the sql and python so how to create engine so i will give the name as engine so we already from my my sql alchemy we imported create engine so i will use create create engine here so create engine within that create engine first i will use double quote and mention my sql plus plus pi my sql pi my sql then put a colon then double slash then mention about user so we are doing formatting here user then the colon then password within the curly braces password mention it as p w then we need to mention about at localhost at localhost so the number 3306 then one slash then database db database so this is the code for this we are doing the format here dot format to fill all this user password and uh, database we are doing the format here dot format and the format mention about the user is equal to is equal to within quote that user is equal to root then put one comma then password pw is equal to your sql password sql password is e one two three four five then the database database is equal to your database we already selected the database here we can see the practice so i will give the same name so practice practice is my database so by this way i can create engine so let's create engine yeah, we got one error because we didn't close it that and put one comma yeah by this way we have created engine by using this engine we are transposing that transforming that data frame to our sql database so move the data frame to database so here we have to use df that is our database df to underscore sql bracket the connection is equal to the engine that we created that is engine engine and the uh, name i want to give for my database the table that is youtube youtube dislikes let's see give the name so i will give another one condition that if exist if exist is equal to replace it so let's see uh, if exist exist okay if exists yeah it's a huge file so it takes some time let's wait yeah it's loading yeah 
it's transpose transformed to that so here we can see 37422 so the data set is the row of 37422 so if i go to my sql then if i refresh this and check here i can see previously i had only eight now i can check one two three four five six seven eight nine so the one more table is added that is youtube dislike so if i check for the column or the information here we can see all the data is loaded to our database so this is how we can create a database directly from the our so just to sum up in this video we saw about how to import the necessary libraries like pandas and sql alchemy imported create engine to create a connection then pandas io to work with xsql then the step two we loaded the data to our data frame that is youtube dislike data set we loaded then after loading the data we created an engine that is create engine by using these codes and after loading after creating engine we transformed or it transferred the data to our database by using df.2sql by using the created engine and we give the name of our data table as youtube dislike and we transformed or transferred that data to our database and from now we can query the database directly from our sql workbench so this is the process thank you for watching the video thank you